Okay, family, how are you? It's me, Miss Sam Wagwan. Hugs and kisses to ya. So look, um, some girls were found dead in mysterious circumstances in downtown LA. Now, when I heard they're both models, two black girls, and it's suspected that they may be a serial killer on the loose, which quite frankly, it's LA and it's downtown LA as well. Now, when I heard about this a couple days ago, I said to myself, hmm. And then one of the girls lived in a condo on Bunker Hill. Now, I don't know if you know about Bunker Hill, as I do, because I used to live in LA. But Bunker Hill is behind Grand Central Station. Okay, Grand Central Station Market. So in downtown LA, you've got this nice indoor market. I don't know if it's still there, actually. But, uh, you know, they sell all kinds of different food in there as well, like Mexican food, Chinese food, American food, specialty wines, cheeses, liquor, and stuff like that. And it's um, right next door. There's a botanica on the corner there as well. Pretty much, if you're in downtown LA and you're around Little Tokyo, um, if you're anywhere near LAPD headquarters, if you're anywhere near the LA Times headquarters, then you're not far from um, Bunker Hill, Grand Central Market, and so on, right? And that really good botanical on the corner there. I don't know if it's still there, but it used to be a really, really good botanical. Anywho, so I heard one of the girls lived on Bunker Hill. And that interested me because I know that back in the day, what me and Maldonado used to do, we used to take the, um, Maldonado is my sidekick if you haven't, if you don't know about him. Well, you want to know about him. <laughs> but uh, he was my sidekick. Anyhow, we used to take the um, trolley. There's like a little lift kind of thing, like a little sky lift, a small mini sky lift. And when you got to the top of Bunker Hill, it's behind Grand, the, the back entrance of Grand Central Market. Um, you get the sky lift up there and they've got restaurants and things like that. This was some years ago, right? And restaurants, wine bars and that type of thing. And yeah, they have some nice housing up there and apparently one of the girls lived there. Now I wanna tell you that of all the places in the world that I've ever traveled to, um, I consider downtown LA to be one of the most dangerous places because a lot of shit is going on down there. And you all heard me talk about the nighttime economy in London, right? How London is a completely different place at nighttime in certain parts of London, like I'm talking about the West End, Central London, um, the city. And, and so on. I'm talking about the financial city and that type of thing and and so on and so on, right? It's like a night economy, Go, it goes down. You know, they say the freaks come out at night. The freaks come out at night. Well, in downtown LA, they sure do come out. And I want to tell you, it's a mixed bag of people, a lot of sick people, spiritually sick people, mentally sick people, physically sick people, and people who will do anything to get over on you, okay? Really, if you're in downtown LA at night, it's either because you live there, you work there, and, and work could mean any kind of work, basically. And there's also a lot of gang activity down there. Oh, of course, of course, it's shit heavy gang activity down there okay because they're working they're doing business also downtown LA has a huge has thousands and thousands of homeless people in an area called Skid Row which kind of is kind of on the the fringes of uh, we call it of Little Tokyo and so on okay you all know Little Tokyo it's the place where you could it's just by um those of you who do shopping, Santi Alley and all that kind of thing. Anyhow, I'm just giving you the background, okay? It's fucking dangerous in downtown LA, all right? And if you live down there in condos and lofts and so on, it's because 
you know you have rented it yourself or your company has rented it for you or there's a lot of um, ballers a lot of ballers who own condos down there a lot of record executives a lot of the music industry down there a lot of Hollywood types keep lofts down there keep housing down there while they have their main house elsewhere okay it's just a pad for them to crash in while they're working in LA okay and of course you know you got the metro there so you can literally be, be anywhere in LA County um, Long Beach um, freaking what do you call it uh, uh, Compton the CPT all of them places anywhere that the blue line carry you anywhere <laughs> Anywhere that the blue line carries you, you can, you know, hop on, hop off type of thing. If, if you like taking the metro and so on and so forth. And, you know, you've got the um, Macy's Plaza and all them kind of things and Targets and all kinds of stuff. Anywho, these two girls live down there, okay? And they were models. Now, I don't know what type of models they were. I don't know how successful they were. I don't know if they were making any money. I don't know if they were struggling. I don't know who, if they had agents and that type of thing. Pretty much, I'm guessing they would have had somebody to facilitate them looking for work and that type of thing. Because you can't be in LA as a, as a lone soldier just trying to make things work for yourself. It may be the safest option, but at some point you're going to get pimped in some way. Okay, someone going to take huge commission off of you, huge percentage of finding a minuscule piece of work or some bullshit work and you could even lose a lot of money as well because there's the scamming is high in LA in terms of people coming there to the city of angels and really wanting to make it work it's, it's a place of dreams okay a lot of dreams get shattered in LA a lot of sick people a lot of drug dependency and thing like that also there's a lot of this is necessary what I'm telling you I've got, pull, I've got cards there I'm pulling it I'll pull them for you in a minute, but but um, there's a lot of veterans down there as well. Vet you heard me talk about the Vietnam War um, in the video that I did on Jeezy and um, Jenny Jenny Ma. Well, there's a lot of vet uh, veterans from Vietnam who have post-traumatic stress disorder. And some of them are homeless, some of them are um, junkies, some of them just fucked up, right? And because they suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder and thing like that, if you take something and shine a light, if you shine a light on them, they goodly, they get a flashback and think that, flashback to the time that they were in Vietnam or at war somewhere Iraq Iran wherever and they will see that flashlight as a light on somebody's weapon and think that you're trying to kill them okay because they're sick and they've been very very mistreated by the government and so on so you have all of these types of people down there in LA and these people previously the veterans and so on they came from places like Watts Inglewood Compton Long Beach whatever and they've come down to LA and they form their own communities down there in Skid Row or wherever else so on and so forth okay of course you know the notorious Cecil Hotel is closed now but it's down there too okay so this is where these two young ladies were okay um, and we don't know whether they had boyfriends or not but what we understand is that they were killed one of the relatives said gave a very graphic description it was an aunt who gave a very graphic description of finding her niece in rigor mortis with her foot up in the air like she was kicking off somebody but she was kind of like frozen um, terrible 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 so I'll read you some of the things that people are saying on the internet about it and then I'll pull some cards. All right? All right? 
Okay, so two black models were found dead inside their downtown LA luxury apartments within three three miles of each other. Now these luxury apartments, by the way, go from something like, I don't know, 3K, maybe even 5K minimum. Okay, 5K a month minimum. You know, it's very, very pricey to live down there. Okay. So you got to have you got to have some kind of side hustle or you got to have somebody's paying your rent or paying for buying a place for you down there if people buy places in in um, LA anymore you know a lot of the buildings down there are historic buildings as well period style buildings beautiful architecture and so on but it costs a pretty penny to own anything there as well the condos there start from a million upwards I would say yeah, I'm talking about one bedroom condo. I think a million is probably on the low side. Anyhow, so within three miles of each other, these girls lived and their families believe that there is a serial killer in their community. So you have to think about the kind of people that these young girls would have come into contact with, whether they themselves were using anything because in that kind of aggressive, harsh, and strange environment in LA you're gonna have some kind of vice you're gonna have something whether it's a vice in terms of religion spirituality or something chemical you know to kind of take the edge and take the fear out of you because it's a place where if you don't have gut if you don't have confidence you won't last long you got to have nerves of steel in LA. You got to. I had some experiences where I live. I've seen a lot. I've seen a lot of things, and also my one of my dudes that I dated for a long time. Well, two two guys that I dated for a long time. Not Maldonado. I never dated him. But the two dudes that I dated for a long time when I was in LA. Okay, so I've seen a lot of shit. I know about a lot of shit. Okay, there's a lot of stuff that goes on there. So I don't know if these girls were using anything, associating with anything, trying to do any kind of side hustle, owe anybody any money, and this type of thing. Yeah, or looking in particular places for men to pay to help out with the rent or whatever. If they were escorting, whatever. I don't. I don't know okay and that is not to that's not to say anything talk bad about their character at all because baby when you're in LA it's survival of the mother loving fittest you hear me you ain't gonna be no shrinking violet there you're gonna be big bad and bold and badder than the next bitch it's got to be like that you got to be in people's face if you want to stand out if you want to make a difference if you want to get a coin and trust me you're gonna work hard for that money okay because ain't nobody want to give you shit without you giving a piece of your soul okay let me continue a lot of broken people when I say broke I mean people snapped in half spirit snapped and broken perfectly good men and women fucked up okay serious all right so two of them found dead right someone saying definitely sounds like a serial killer sounds like the person they're only targeting is models so if they're only targeting models where are the other models so we've got two black models are they any other ones that we haven't found out about Okay. Or did these two women have anything in in common in that they met the same person? Okay. Um, and two in two weeks. If it's a serial killer, there would have been more than two. And if it's a serial killer targeting black female models in LA, there would be more. There would be more than two bodies. What about the cameras? It's so sad that they don't care about black women missing. This is insane praying for the family. Okay. Um, well, they're not missing, they're dead. So they're not missing. Number two in regards to cameras, um, Bunker Hill. 
If you if you living up on, on Bunker Hill, as I said to you, there are cameras all around there. So somebody would have seen these women with somebody, whoever that they were with, friends, family, dates, whatever, business folk, somebody would have seen who they're with and they would have seen their movements as well. Okay, and any kind of patterns that they kept up and that type of thing. Let's pull some cards. Okay, I think I talked enough. 15 minutes of talking. Okay, what happened to these two girls? I'll do a more in-depth reading on this, but for now, I just want to just touch on this for now. Okay? What happened to them? Yeah. Six of Pentacles here in reverse, family. And you see these fucking rats there. I'll tell you about these damn pimps. Okay? So these girls were being used in some capacity. And you see the card is in the reverse. This card is about charity, benevolence, giving and receiving. That type of thing. It seems like people were taking from them and not giving to them. Definitely a working girl situation. I don't know how. Okay, so I don't know if it's to what degree, that's what I'm saying. So escorting, um, dates for money, which is basically the same thing, but arrangements with someone and then these rats here that we see on the card here in reverse. It's like someone taking all, it's like being pimped by somebody. And let's give you an example because I'm all about giving examples, okay? So if somebody, if a pimp or a madame, okay, has set up through an agency or whatever, set up an introduction or set a person up, one of the girls up, to go meet a client and the client is supposed to uh, spend three to four hours with them or whatever it is and they're supposed to be paid three grand. Okay, three grand is nothing in terms of escort money. Escorts out there charging anything from 10,000 upwards for a couple hours. Okay, depending on where you are in the world. But that is, I don't know about the going rate, but um, three grand is very, very modest. Okay, so three grand. And as I said to you, I don't know what, see, unfortunately, unfortunately, when it comes to escort business, black women don't earn the same money as, I'm being real with you, black women do not earn the same money as, as the white um, escorts, prostitutes, working girls. The madam, the pimp, can sell a white woman for more money and have to more people than the black girl. She's not gonna earn as much money as her white co-worker. Okay, so with this card here in the reverse, whatever money these girls got, pretty much they were giving it all to the pimp, or the pimp was taking it all, okay? Rats eat a lot of cheese. And then we have this dress here, which is off-white as well, gray. So there's this kind of jaded energy on the girls, like, damn, I'm in this situation, if I'm making, if I go on this job and it's three grand, if I get 500 out of it, God bless it because that 500 couldn't go towards my rent. It's really that simple family. It's a harsh reality. That's if they got 500 out of the three grand. I'm just giving that as a baseline figure, okay? If they were supposed to be set up with somebody for the purposes of sex, then the pimp, the madame, the middle person is going to take a hefty chunk of whatever it is and give the girl hardly anything. Okay? And it seems as if there was a problem with money with both girls. There was a problem with people taking money from them. And also pentacles refers to their essence as well, their sexual self in terms of their sexual energy. Okay? what is transferred during sex that's why a lot of women who are escorts and models who do escorting on the sides or are looking for paid dates they really they, they, they get their mind is fucked over okay you might not understand but a lot of women who work in the adult entertainment industry and do escorting 
psychologically they get damaged spiritually they get damaged there's all you sometimes you can spot them as well sometimes the way they behave like they'll wash a lot okay they won't take a whole bath they'll actually be very excessive in terms of cleaning because they feel tainted physically and spiritually and they feel like they can't get it off of them some of these girls who provide what they call girlfriend experience they earn a lot of money because the girlfriend experience isn't just about sex it's about companionship it's about kissing and intimacy so there's a lot of prostitutes a lot of working girls who do not kiss their clients I'm just being real with you they don't kiss the clients because they don't want to have that that sexual intimate contact they don't want to have that intimate contact with them they rather just have the wham bam thank you ma'am take the money and go but to kiss them means something more there's more affection there's more of this okay and they charge top dollar for that it's a lot more money for that okay so because when it comes down to the sex industry escorting every little thing that's done is a service every little thing that's done okay and if a client wants to grab this kiss that stroke that rub this have attention focused on that all them things cost money so these girls were not making money for what they were doing the money was uh, going to third party pimp madame whoever middle person agent and also their, their feminine energy, their sexual feminine energy was being extracted for them, from them and they weren't being given anything for it, okay? Which all sound like the same thing but it's not. In the escort's mind she has to receive adequate compensation for this. Now this is bringing me back to what the auntie said about the woman with her foot in the air, okay, her niece found dead with her foot in the air fighting off somebody so maybe somebody she met with somebody to have sex and they didn't want to pay her okay and usually what will happen is that there are places where these activities are conducted but if these women were found dead in their home that means whoever killed them was allowed into their home they either brought them in, they probably brought them into their home because I've not heard anything about signs of forced entry, forced entry. Okay, so they willingly invited people into their home. Disclaimer for sexual services. Ten of Cups here in reverse. Okay, so both girls were very, very unhappy, very distrustful of people, didn't like people at all also failed and broken relationships behind them as well we also got unhappy childhoods as well and so and this is the thing it's too little too late right but very often when the families come out and they make a lot of noise sometimes the families that make a lot of noise i'm not saying that this is in this case okay but what we have here is the children here and the card is in reverse and then we have the family here the man the woman you know parents other people in the family and we have this rainbow here in the reverse and we have the cups ten cups in reverse meaning that both girls did not come from the background where there was a lot a lot of love there especially when they were growing up there were things to do with their childhood that were not perfect and idyllic for them okay um, something else is coming up here yeah so as I was saying in terms of the noise that family make sometimes it's too little too late because if you were that aggressive when they were younger perhaps they would have had a better lifestyle and so on now that they're dead you're making noise you know what drove these girls there in the first place okay seeking fame seeking money seeking they want to be a hollywood star they want to make it however in the movies making records as a model 
but you know sometimes we as families have to say are you guys okay are you making enough money tell me about the financials what's going on damn you can't pay your rent do you need any help can we put our heads together and think of something instead of these girls just kind of being lone soldiers LA is a lonely place and if you don't have somebody trustworthy who's got your back who you can eat dinner with who you can laugh with who you trust who you can fall asleep with in the same place and know that you're gonna wake up in the morning that you are gonna wake up in the morning but these girls weren't living the happy glamorous life that one might think that they were living before they died see it's very sad and card I got a bit distracted sorry so here we have the Sun card okay in reverse these two cards right really do sum up LA how a lot of people experience LA the Sun in reverse the ten of cups in reverse and this is in regards to them two girls when the Sun is upright this is the most auspicious card it's lucky it's great luck auspicious prosperous bright prospects bright future people the lights the limelight the light of the Sun shining upon them the biggest star them girls both of them had big dreams both of them were like this when they moved to LA both of them were like this nervous trepidation but overall like this but this is what happened this is the life that they were leading They needed money, they needed support, they needed someone to tell them, look, you know, LA is not the only place in the world. Like, and people still go into LA in search of their, you know, bringing their hopes and dreams alive. You know, there's so much old people. There's, one, I tell you, one of the most tragic things you can see, one of them, in LA you have some old women who are dressed like Marilyn Monroe and they act as if they're Marilyn Monroe and they will talk to you like I wanna be loved by you just you nobody else but you do 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 I wanna be loved by you alone Ooh, boop, you, do. you know there's it's, it's crazy that their whole life has been hijacked by an energy and a promise that even Marilyn Monroe, Marilyn Monroe was Norma Jean Baker. She was manufactured and molded into that and you saw how they snatched and took her life. You saw that for her whole life, as soon as she started making her own decisions, Marilyn became a prisoner. As soon as she married a smart guy they said oh she's not dumb she's not blonde we can't mold her and do it let's throw these two guys let's put her in the path of these two presidents knowing that they knew the fate <coughs> knowing that they knew the fate <coughs> of these people anyway JFK Bobby who they killed down the road they killed Bobby Kennedy down the road on Wilshire Boulevard. Y'all know that, right? Anyhow, at the Ambassador Hotel, which they've now turned into a school. Anyhow, let me pull some more cards, okay? More about the two girls. What happened to them? 
we've got the hermit here okay and then we have in the background the two girls there's one girl on the card but what we have is a very quiet man a man who stayed to himself like a hermit and an introverted a man that don't really wherever he's holed up wherever he lives is not that far away the hermit usually goes far away into a bush or forest or something and he is there or she's there seeking wisdom studying the divine finding clarity but this is a hermit that lives in a secluded place but not that far away so this person li likely lives in downtown LA the woman that we can see here in the background is one woman but it represents women are people who looked at him and knew that he was weird weird odd okay those are the, the descriptions that they would have of him now there's a repeat energy on here in that it's not somebody who just met somebody once so what I'm trying to say is family <clears throat> he met these girls which are the one of them or both of them or others other girls but he met them more than once on more than one occasion so even though they thought that he was weird there was some trust in him because the idea is if he was gonna harm them he would have done it long time ago the first time they met but this is what people like this do they try to gain your confidence gain your trust understand so this is what he was doing and we've got this light here, which is usually the light of wisdom, that light, the, um, what do you call it, lamp light or whatever. But this is what he used to search for particular types of girls, searching, okay? And where he lives, he lives a kind of hermit, introverted existence. I'm picking up basement energy as well. So whatever place that he lives in is a basement there, okay? He don't live on the first floor. Or the ground floor he live in the basement of somewhere now you know what this is giving me this is either giving long-term resident someone who either works in the building and has been given a ground floor or, or basement apartment for cheap or somebody who works and who works best in the basement so like music like a music producer somebody who's producing amusement who's <laughs> producing music would have their studio in a basement <clears throat> where the echoes are less, where people are less likely to hear them, where they're less likely to cause a disturbance. So I'm going to say that again. This guy met the girls on more than one occasion. And if it's not both girls, then it's a whole bunch of girls. He lives in downtown LA, maybe possibly in a basement. Now he either is a long-term resident, meaning he's been there years and years and years and years, or he works in that building, maybe doing maintenance or management or something, and they've given him the basement as free accommodation or subsidized or whatever, or he's involved in music and therefore would be part of the industry. Now it could be all of those things or two of those things or one of those things okay but this is somebody who gained the trust of the girls okay more about what happened got the moon card here in reverse we've got warnings here you know two dogs barking and then the intuition here these girls did not follow their intuition. One or both or several of them girls felt that he was weird. Two 
dog's barking. Warnings given, but something else as well. You know, sometimes when dogs bark, if they if their voice is hoarse, like if the dog is not feeling well, they go, oh, oh, oh. you know, they don't bark fully. I know it's a terrible kind of woo, 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 woo. Like someone trying to bark, a dog trying to bark, but the bark is not coming out. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's a chance that the two girls were given something by him to make them groggy, to make them hoarse before they died so in this case family you know if somebody needs help they'll say help help right but if they can't if their voice is hoarse then you won't be able to hear them neighbors wouldn't hear them etc no one would hear them calling for help so something about their vocal cords needs to be checked something inside of the body it'd be interesting to see what the autopsy says i know this is kind of like a higgledy piggledy message but something was given to them to stop them from making noise okay next card yeah both killed, both murdered. This is the ace of wands here in reverse. So after being made hoarse, they were murdered. Their lights were turned off. Their candles were outed. Their flame extinguished. Um, each one of those girls have a mark on them this man is keeping a tally in some way but he's keeping the tally on them so he's put a mark or something on them both them girls have a mark a recent mark that they gained at the time of death respectively that this man put on their bodies so he's marking them in some way I'm going to leave this reading here and eat my food and then I'll come back with another reading soon. My name is Miss Sam. This has been for entertainment purposes only. It's been a bit of a long reading, I feel, um, and I put a lot of background into it because I believe that it's very, very necessary. But those girls were murdered and uh, it does look as if there is a serial killer. And interestingly enough, it looks as if there are more than two of them. So there are several women. So where are the other women? Hold on. Where are the other women? What the page of ones here in reverse. Playground, fairground, amusement, a place where there's carousels place where there's fairgrounds, somewhere where children play. Okay. There's another possible disclaimer, four victims for this man. So that four plus two would, would be six, right? This is for entertainment purposes only. My name is Miss Sam. Oh, 
Oh Lord. And this has been the reading on the two women in LA. The two models found dead. Ashe bless. Inshallah. Speak to you soon. Man, this reading took a lot out of me. Ashe bless. I might come back. If you want a part two of this. Yeah. Whew. Bless.